Hello, hello. Oh, I see a, I see a Tommy and a Super Gen and a Boot Twisted. Super Gen. A Moody. Mm, not going to say the last part of that. Clint Crockett, what's happening? True Dave. Hello. Yo, yo, Michael. There's a Prague with a different name. Antonio. There's a DeLorean. I know that guy. Gruesome. It's gruesome day, y'all. It's Tanner Day. It is. Congrats on your pop. It's a big day. It's a it huge is. day. What's up, Rye the Pop Very Guy? Exciting. Texas Funko Hunter. I like the sound of that. That used to You got me. spies everywhere. Oh, there's a Felix from Fort Hood, Texas. Shout out to Texas and the strain. Deidre, what's happening? Calcium. How Can you doing? To the video? Let's sure, do it. let's do it. Let's go live. And in color. What's up, fanatics? Hello, hello, Funko uh, family. How's everybody doing on this fine Wednesday afternoon? It's Wednesday? Yeah, all day. I know. I can't believe it. We just got back from New York Comic Con, what felt like about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, but we've. It's been, been a whirlwind. Who was at New York Comic Con? Uh, raise your hands out there if raise you would, please. Hands. We're just going to count. Uh, that was a fun show. Whew. Yes. And it feels like it was both yesterday and six months ago. Yeah. So to San Diego, though. That feels like it was both yesterday and it does. forever ago. But. Oh, hope that if you went to New York Comic Con, you're recovering and having a great week. Yeah, uh, hopefully no one got sick. A bunch of people in the office ooh, here got sick. Um, so far. Yeah, I know. And then for those of you who didn't get to go, I hope you got to follow along over the weekend and see all the shenanigans and fun times we had. Thanks to everyone who came to the live Funcast. Yeah, that was a blast. That was really good. It went by so fast. Dima should have his own talk show in no time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Working on it. As, as was one of the answers. <laughs> Yeah, if you haven't listened already, the uh, the live episode from New York Comic Con was not lost. It is uh, now on. We did it. All the places you listen to podcasts. So go give it a go give it a listen, give it a whirl. Uh, be sure to leave some comments on SoundCloud, share it on Twitter for a chance to win. That was episode one twenty three. Dang. So we're here to do an unboxing. We call this our unboxing live extravaganza. We got another uh, twenty eight minutes with you fine people. Uh, so we are going to get to this stuff here. But before we do, we got a couple things to remind you about. One, I'll kick off. Actually, I'll let you kick off the first kind one. Kind of a big announcement. It is a big So announcement. our Funko Hollywood store is opening officially to the public on November 18th. That is a Monday. And if you guys want to go, do you want to go? I know you they want to go. Yes. I um, go. We're doing a giveaway with Alaska Airlines right now. Um, I don't know all the details on the giveaway. I do. That you do. Yes. You're taking point on that. All I know is the hashtag. Before I jump into the details on that, in case you are interested in going on November 18th, more details will follow on how you will gain access to the store. Mm -hmm. So you can come and ask all the people at Funko you want, but until we relay that information to you, we just have to ask that you chill for a hot sec. Follow the Facebook page. Yes. All the updates. Facebook.com slash... Funko Hollywood. Also, make sure you're following Funko on Facebook, yes. Twitter, Instagram uh, for details. We aren't going to do a surprise ninja opening. No. We are going to tell you all the details. But in case you want to win a trip, as uh, Ashley just alluded to, our yes. partnership with Alaska Airlines, all you have to do is uh, go and post a photo or video of you and your collection and tag Original Funko and Alaska Air. Make sure there you, you follow all that. All that's outlined in our blog. There's a nice blog post that shows the, the Alaska Air logo mm -hmm. with the airplane. I mean, yeah, you we can't have, miss Yeah, we it. made a cool uh, little asset for that Freddy, Freddy pilot. Cool assets. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so follow that. You have until October 16th, which is like, I'm checking my watch because that feels like Seven days. hours away at mm -hmm. this point. So go get those entries in. And don't think you don't have a chance. Only so many people ever will create photos or videos. That is true. So take that opportunity and, and yes. they got to use the hashtag too, right? The Funko goes to Hollywood hashtag. Yes. yes. Be sure to include that. That's okay. why you need to go to the blog post there so you, you don't miss out on any of the details. Yeah, all the details are on the blog post. So we can only relay them so much. So, <laughs> so go do that. Make it happen. This is your weekend. Uh, and then if you don't win, you can always still get your own airfare and hotel and come out on the 18th. Yes. What else? Funko Verse is here. It is on shelf now at most major retailers. Coming yes. soon to even more retailers. Uh, we want you to go out and purchase it, of course. That's why we do business. Uh, but we also want to do a fun giveaway. If you guys haven't seen yet, a uh, we've got a gold Batman pop, and that is the pop in the size of it the Funkoverse yes. games. Uh, chance to win that very limited piece. Uh, you want to chime in on that? Yeah, so go to uh, any retailer that sells Funkoverse, you know, GameStop, Barnes, um, Walmart, Target, Hot Topic, all of them. Yep. Um, go there, take a photo of you with Funkoverse in the retail location with the hashtag Funkoverse and uh, post it to Twitter and Instagram and you'll have a chance to win that gold Batman. So. I saw somebody quote and say, why do I have to buy the game for a chance to win? You don't. You don't. You just have to... Sh to uh, take a photo with the game. Right. So. We're very clear on that, so we hope that everybody yeah. understands and uh, we'll take the opportunity to go out. I've seen some photos already. You guys are doing a great job. We will continue to pick winners over several weeks. So if you see we've announced some winners, don't think that's the end yep. of it. It's going to go for a while. So we have four licenses of Funkoverse right now, DC, Harry Potter, Rick and Morty, and Golden Girls. So pick mm -hmm. your favorite, take a photo. You rattle that off pretty quick. Yes. You got this down. I do product announcements sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we also have our makeup line with Disney, the Disney Villains, uh, available through Ulta, which is uh, at their stores and online now. Yep. Uh, there was just in stores for a while online. We were saying coming soon. Well, that soon is here. That's right. Available online. I looked yesterday, and I don't know, we're even supposed to talk about this, but it looks like it's a free gift with purchase. If oh, you really? Online. I didn't know that. A little I, pro I tip. Don't know how long that's running, yeah. but it might be worth going to check it out. Pick your favorite Disney villain and uh, make it up. Yeah, make it up. <laughs> I, I won't be making it up, uh, but maybe you do. Yeah, there maybe you that, go. Maybe that you do you. Yeah. All right. Oh, and then one other thing here. Uh, Paka Paka. Debuted at uh, New York Comic Con. We had it in our booth in the line. So if you were in the lotto, you got to uh, test it out and play. But we also, the very first one is in New York. It's at 33rd and Broadway. Um, so you. yeah, go there. You get to go buy a, a token from the sales associate there and play and get your Paka Paka. I'm looking at the questions, and Bizarro John said, can Sully and Dima do a makeup tutorial video? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's up to you guys. I, I don't know if I'd be pretty enough for that, that's for sure. <laughs> I feel like there's better people better suited for it. <laughs> we have lots of makeup video, so you can see it on our social, ch social channels that uh, yeah. it's already up and out there. Would it be weird if a dude went to Ulta and bought some makeup? Absolutely no. not. You can always say that you're buying it for someone, or if you're or collecting, rocket. like I'm doing. Uh, you know, you could just buy it and put it in your collection. Nothing also, wrong with that. Also, men can wear makeup. Sure. If they want to. Yeah, uh, Stuart Either does way. it on uh, Letterkenny. It's fine. Does he? Stuart. Stuart. All right. <laughs> All right. We are going to do the unboxing here in just a second, but before we jump into that, a reminder, we will be doing a little Q&A towards the end of the live today, so in about 10 minutes. So if you have some questions other than have you ever, guys ever thought of, will you guys ever make blah, 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 whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, drop those in the comments. Dima, who's uh, acting as our for cues. producer director today, will be looking for those questions and pulling them aside. We will get to them. You can still ask them again later, but he's going to be pinpointing some good ones now while we jump into, we tease this as a big unboxing. Yeah. There some are bigger figures here. There's a few things here, but there's more oh, over here. Oh, you brought here. more? We're going bigger than this. All right. So some of y'all might have had uh, an idea or two on what that might be. Did you just letter Kenny again here? D idea? Uh, <laughs> I, I might do that by accident from time to time. Okay. You want to dive in on the yes, first one? Yes, let's start with uh, Harry Potter Pop Town. This is Haggard's Hut and Fang. From the legendary Cats and Owls, also known it's as Harry Potter. Harry Potter, which we should be versed in at some point. There we go. I have seen several of the films. I've read... You have? I have. Oh, I have not seen any mm -hmm. of the films. I know people may think I have not, but I have. I know how to say Hermione. There you go. It's not Hermione. I know about the wizard Harry. That's right. 
and about he, he shall not be named. Hey. But he was eventually Everyone named. is a fan of something, so. Ooh, I, I dig this. It's very this cool. It is very cool. It's a, a very detailed hut. Large puppy. I really kind of want the door to open, though, but it does not. You can customize it. Yeah, there you go. Go for so it. So there's that, and then his very large dog, Fang. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> you, uh, any of the dog pops. You were freaking yes. out about another one we can't I talk was, about yet yes, earlier. Today. earlier. All right, I'm going to jump in on the first order tread speeder uh, coming up for F9. Super excited about this because it's Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'll toss that to the side. And look at the detail on this bad boy. And because, ooh, let's not rip his head off. Nope, don't and do because that. it is Star Wars, these are definitely bobbleheads. Uh, that is how that works. That's awesome. Look at Star Wars buddies. Marvel. I was going to bobble. Shake the table there. We get that good bobble That's going. That's awesome. Also very detailed. Kind of floats a little bit too. I love how the Star Wars, the Star Wars have to be on bases. Yeah. And I love the fact that we've worked it from not just a solid black base, but into something that is artistic and goes with the moment from yes. the movie. You can even see the tread on you the ground. You can. That's awesome. It's like kicking dirt back underneath. Yep. They are. Watch out. Then who do we have here? 10-inch Olaf from Frozen 2 hitting theaters this November. We, we know a little bit about that Olaf. We do. It's not Funko's first round we just go with our buddy Olaf. There we go. I don't know why the tops are so hard today. They're, they're reminding you that you should always yes, open always, from the bottom. Is that the proper way? There you go. Way? Let me get this big boy box out of the way for you there. So this is a Target exclusive. Should be in stores now. Oh. No, my I'll clamps. let you get it, Olaf. There we go. Wow. Uh, okay, this is a heavy, heavy pop, but the detail on it, there's a, like his, he has little snowflakes on his body. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I would that's not cool. have seen that in the package. No, I'll admit it. Yeah, you definitely have to take that out of box to notice hmm. that. But uh, looks like he is uh, ready to watch Frozen. Did too. he have snowflakes on his body in the first Frozen, or is this some sort of teaser? That for I don't know. I don't know if it's a Frozen Two thing or not. For Ep2. Ep2 Frozen. Ep2 Frozen. <laughs> All right, don't forget, uh, I see some questions that uh, Dima's putting aside already, yes. so keep those coming in. But we're going to go bigger than what okay. we have Let out me, here Okay, uh, should I make some room? But wait, there's more. There's more. I, I, you have to unbox this one. I, I, this big box was placed over here to the side. I swear you guys, up and down, I have not seen this in person yet. But y'all knew it's coming. I see it dropping in the comments already. Mm. You guys are ready. You know okay, what's up. let's see. Are you, are you ready? No, seriously, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh my God, it's heavy. <laughs> Thank goodness it's he It's so lives. heavy. That is a pop, people. Oh my. It's bigger than my torso. Look at this. I'm six foot. <laughs> Good Lord, 18 inches, or for our friends who uh, are on the metric system, right there on the side, 46 centimeters. Ah, I like how we did that. Yeah. Hmm, the packaging is awesome. I'm digging this. it. So there's no see-through window. Well, is there, let's see. Well, that might be hard to make. Haven't seen it before. Factory-wise. That's a lot of plastic. That is a lot of plastic. I'm wondering if there's a box in a box situation. Okay, uh, there is plastic. This reminds me of when we uncrate the large statues at conventions. There it's, it is, Looks folks. similar. There it is. That's what you've been waiting for. Yeah. Woo! Cardboard <laughs> insert. Here's the plastic. Oh. Look, hold on. Before we even look at okay, the pop, let's just, let's just get in on this for a minute, will you? That looks like a good cake mold. <laughs> oh my lord, Doesn't what have you it? stumbled into? <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that. I hope you enjoy your plastic insert because it doesn't get any better yeah, than just that. Just the clamshell, that's all we're showing. Whew. I'm going to need more area to work with here. Okay, am I ready to go in? Whew. Hold on, let's let's do this right. That is a minty Good boy. Lord, this, I can work out with this for real. Okay. Look at him in box there. He's glorious. Do I need to step out of frame? Batman, you're my boy. <laughs> all right, let's get him out of there. Wow, I don't want to put fingerprints all over it. Should I move this? I never thought in all my life I would see a pop this size that we could purchase to have at home. It's bigger than an infant baby. <laughs> you just dropped a <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a creek reference there. Yep. Not the Dawsons. <laughs> Look at that beautiful baby. This is like on par with the stuff we How have in the How much does he weigh? Okay. Can uh, I, can you want to give? You want to give, 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 give it a? Want to It's probably at guesstimate? least 10, 12 pounds. Let me give that a run. Fifteen, maybe. Let me give that. We gotta get a scale. I, I, I'd say between five and ten. Yeah. That's, that's like an eight-pound baby right there. Yeah. He oh. is 
beautiful. Talladega Nights, all eight pounds, seven ounces. Yep, that's right. Yeah, this is amazing. It is a great mold. It is the first of its kind. The first time you can buy something uh, of of this magnitude to put in your collection. Is we've that the given largest away. pop we've ever made? Largest pop, I believe so. I mean, we've done the Freddies before that are like the vinyl the, that are yeah, different. Yeah, and the Dorbs and stuff for various right. events. But this is the, the largest like mainline pop we've ever made. Wow. So Details that's... on this on the blog. Pre-orders are up and retailers who will be carrying it, so you can go ahead and pre-order. As far as a release date, we always say soon. Sometimes we give a month. We do. Usually when we announce something, it's between two and three months after we announce it, but it just depends on the factory, the retailers, all of that, so we can't give you an exact date. That is, but. look at that bad boy, bat boy. <sighs> Oh, speaking of bat boys, we this have something else to look at in a minute. That is glorious. Beautiful. I am going to clear some room on my desk for that. He can sit Ooh. right in the middle of Sully's, all the Sully's. Dang. Wow. All right. That's amazing. That is pretty cool. I'm into that. All right. It's giveaway time. Uh, don't forget to keep those questions coming in, but we want to do the giveaway so we can give you a keyword. That's how you'll enter. Uh, today was a huge day. Shout out to our longtime friend Tanner, also known as Gruesome Knives. This was his submission for the fantastic That's plastic right. uh, design your own I mean, pop Tanner, contest. you have your own sticker, man. That's yeah. pretty cool. First of its kind with right? that sticker. Uh, it ended up being a Funko Shop exclusive because it is part of, part of the fantastic plastic line. It went up earlier mm. today. It, I don't know if it's sold out. If it is not, you can go purchase yours. Uh, go get it. We this do. is the first of its kind. It's amazing. I know it's Tanner's awesome. having a, a heck of a day here. We did do a giveaway on Twitter this morning as well, so give it a retweet. This Follow actually, us. It's actually mine that I purchased. I Ooh. went downstairs and purchased this, and I want to uh, I want to take it out and look at it. Okay. But I'm going to treat it with the respect that it deserves. Wow. And if you get a chance to, I'm not going to read it aloud, but there's a great story on the back submitted with the design by Tanner. There you go. You got to read it. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Buddy. I love the colorway. Now that is a bad that boy. It's awesome. Yeah, this is this is super cool. It's rad. And I do believe Tanner said that Reese uh, O'Brien was the one that did the uh, did the rendering. Oh, really? The, uh, Very cool. It kind of well, we got the best of the best there. That's a combo right there. There you go. So we're going to give away one of those along with mm, our buddy. I'm going to guess social media, Freddie. You know what that box means. Oh yeah. <laughs> along with that, and we need a keyword, uh, Ashley. What about a keyword? Five to seven characters. Let's just do bat. Bat. B A T. That is way easier. We got easier. Batman, Bat Boy. It goes with the theme, right? It does. So yeah. drop the comment Bat. B A T. B -A -T. All one word, nothing else, wherever you are watching. Uh, Facebook, Periscope, slash Twitter, Mixer, Twitch, all of the above. YouTube, drop it on there. We will next week go and randomly pick a winner and announce. And I actually did do this. You did? Our last winner from. September 25th, which was right before we headed out to uh, New York Comic Con, the uh, winner of the Tony 10-inch Funko Shop exclusive. Ooh, that's a good one. And Social Media Freddy, who typed great in the comments, is <laughs> Matasaurus Matt. All right. Matt, I left a comment on Mixer that Ooh. I hope you see with instructions on how to claim. Uh, but if for some reason you didn't see that comment, uh, you'll just need to contact us uh, at prizes at Funko.com uh, to get the details on how to claim that. So once again, the keyword was bat. bat. I see it coming in. It is rolling in. That's a lot of bats. Yes. Uh, for a chance to win both of these amazing items. Yes. All right. Some Q&A? Should we answer um, some uh, Qs? Let's here? do our vaulted items. Oh, okay. Knowing that. that we were going big today. That's right. I chatted with the team and said, what can I go pull from Sully's vault? Before, and he's got I a some, grail. Some heat? Some heat. Some, let's throw up those flame emojis. Uh, before I show it, I have to give you all the warning. These are not current items. These are vaulted items, thus the whole from my from vault your thing. personal collection. Things I yes. purchased with my own money. Yes. Well, one I purchased, one I won. There you Details go. on that. Uh, so you cannot currently buy them at retail price. You would have to go to the secondary market. The Funko app is a great place to go look for more details on these. Uh, there is a curveball involved, mm -hmm. but I'm going to start with one of the two items I brought today. Are you ready? I got to wait. Until we are I'm ready. ready. You're ready. Okay. I'm ready. First I've one up. From, I can't remember Ooh. the year, I want to say 2014. I could be wrong, I didn't look in the app in advance. This is a nine inch Daryl Dixon, Daryl Dixon, as that we were calling him earlier. Awesome. Blood look, splatter. 
Blood Splatter, Toy Tokyo exclusive. I do believe when Toy Tokyo still had a booth next to the Funko booth. Ah. So you had to go there and get sticker? it. We don't even make stickers like that I anymore. love that. I That's love that. It's fantastic. It. And let's take it out. Oh. Should we take it out? It's sealed. You guys want to see him crack a seal? I've never unsealed it before. I didn't bring a knife. I don't want to do this incorrectly. Let's see. Dang. I'm Can surprised I... you don't have a knife on you at all times. I, well, just because I'm from Texas. All right? <laughs> Easy. Let's see if I can do this without damaging the box. Oh, boy. Okay. Whew. I was afraid I was going to damage that box. All right. Let's take them out and I'm take a look at I'm sweating watching you do that. It's never That's been insane. opened. And with The Walking Dead just now returning. How yes. perfect, right? Is Daryl still on The Walking Dead? He is. Okay. As many fans say... I have I'm a couple seasons behind. If Daryl dies, we riot. I won't. That's It'll fair. Just be part of the he's show, been, but yeah, he's been he's been there since day one. Look at look. That even, is a beauty. There's a plastic uh, protector on his crossbow, so you don't injure yourself or that. And uh, blood splatter. There he goes. The back. Okay, is that a bloody rag? He is a bandana. Oh, a bandana. Okay. The detail it could have been a bloody rag at but. the time these were created. Didn't have as much as they do now. No. Uh, but he's, he's got tired eyes. That's really all you need. That's Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> I've always loved the Daryl figures. That was uh, some of the first exclusives at Hot Topic was that Poncho Daryl. Uh, yep. uh, we've done many lines that aren't even made anymore, vinyl style yep. of Daryl. I have an autographed, uh, it looks like a big mystery mini. It's just a vinyl Daryl cool. that I bought from Walker Stalker Con. Dang. Uh, love bring this. that in sometime. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but it says on the sticker, limited 300 pieces. <sighs> So that is, uh, yeah. That's a rare of a rare. Throw some flame emojis on that. Yeah. I'm going to set that aside because I have something even more rare. And I don't think I'm going to take this one out of the box, y'all. Are you sure? Don't judge you me. You said you were going to. I changed my mind. All right. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so this one. I'm amazed you, you took that one out of the box. I'm, I'm very proud. This one. <sighs> From Fun Days 2013, a nine-inch Freddy Funko with pink hair. Green and, pants. And plenty of dust. I didn't clean them before I brought him in. Uh, he's been sitting proudly up with my nine inch figures like Daryl. I have Buzz Lightyear. Mm -hmm. I have uh, Sully with Boo. Of one course. Of my prize of course. pieces. He's holding the Pop logo, which I always thought was really cool. It's got the Circle Vintage sticker. I say vintage, it's been six years since this okay, came what, out. What one? 2013? 2013. Dang. Limited to 48. Pieces. Dang. It is so limited, in fact, that I had to go to the team today and tell them it is not in our app. <laughs> so, nope. it's, so is it in the app now? No, I, well, they're working on it. Okay. That's the beauty is I gave them <laughs> feedback and they're going to fix it up, which go. is what we ask you which guys is, to yes, do. Yes, that's the way to do it. And, and let's look on the back. I really dig this as well. Whew. Got the a Vintage Freddy on a Rocket logo that looks a lot like the old Wacky Wobbler it does. Fre Freddy design. And it doesn't even have a number. It is SE. So if you guys who don't know, uh, every year Funko Fun Days is a big party we have at San Diego Comic-Con. As a collector, you've heard of it, I'm sure. Uh, and they give out things like this. I was lucky enough to be standing in the right area when the guy came around Just to our table. Luck. Yep. Just pure luck. And handed this off to my wife. So technically, I guess it's hers, but it is part of our collection. Ah, there you go. Yeah, this is... <laughs> You're getting comments. Don't open it. Don't open it. There you go. Should he, should he open it? No. <laughs> no, 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 it's not happening. So uh, the whole point of this was to, to show you guys some of the things that you don't get to see on a regular basis. It's yes. not, I'm not gloating. I'm not trying to rub it in your face. I just, I really know that, like, we don't have a museum. It's cool to see. So this is the museum there section, you go. if you will. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of don't open it. Don't open you guys, it. You guys feel me? Yes. They know. All right. Uh, we promised to answer some of your questions Dima's been putting some aside. I've been talking a lot, so I'll let you take all. All right, over I will this take part. this one. When will the release of Twelve Days of Funko Pops come out? So we don't have an exact date right now. So just follow our channels. I would assume closer to Christmas. So um, just stay tuned on more information I, for that. I do believe we're doing that on Cyber Monday. Are we? Are you gonna, yeah. You're just giving it away. Well, no, we we, we talked about okay. it in the Funcast live. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sharon, who's in charge of all, all of our online stuff for Funko Shop, <clears throat> we got approval from her oh, okay. to talk about it. Because I don't want to mess with Sharon. No, so, no, you know. I'm only reading what she told us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to have? You'll have it delivered before Christmas, so yes. that you have it in your collection. Oh, okay, that makes or sense. Or if you're going to be gifting it, so we're working on Cyber so Monday. Cyber Monday. There yeah. you go. Keep an eye out. It's uh, all pops, and there's there's a big in in there. Yeah, there's a twelve Remember? inch in there's there. A big in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, most memorable thing from NYCC. What about for you? Hmm. I think the Funko Funcast Live. Uh, Those are was, always. Yeah. 
Yes. Amazing time. A lot of you amazing fans came out. We had a good time. We played some games. I, I've still... I'm just honored and blessed that you guys have, uh, you know, supported us enough with the podcast Absolutely. that we're able to do things like that. Uh, keep listening, keep commenting, mm -hmm. and we really appreciate it. I would say uh, work in the booth, getting to talk to fans and mm -hmm. seeing the whole hustle and flow. Our, that was probably the craziest booth I've ever worked for Funko. Um, we had, like, a constant line. The sessions were going and going. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was. Yes. It is great seeing you guys uh, at the events. Even, I know a lot of people didn't even get into the booth. They'd still come by and say hi, mm -hmm. which is great. Yes. Let's see. Ooh. Alex Men asks, tell me how to get more Freddies. Alex, that's a great question. We that sell is. Freddies through Funko Shop. We have them here at Funko HQ. Mm -hmm. We got Funko Hollywood opening on November 18th, as we talked about earlier. There will be Freddies there. There are Freddies given away at Fun Days. We give away Freddies as prizes on our social media giveaways. They're everywhere. By listening to the Fun Cast. Yes. I mean, if you want a chance at any of that, get engaged. I don't remember seeing your name before. You might have already been very engaged, but now we see you, Alex. There you go. Um, is there a Johnny Cash Pop? Do you have the app handy? Hmm. I just updated my phone, so I don't have the app on there. Let me get out the Funko app. I just went through and closed mm -hmm. all my apps earlier because I had approximately 6 million open. So mm -hmm. is there a Johnny Cash pup? Let's see. I want to say yes. Well, looky there. There's not one. Not There's two. There's two. There's Johnny two with the Johnny guitar Cash. down to the sides and one with it up. Was one an exclusive FYE? No. Came out this year. Okay. And neither... Shows really? to be an okay, exclusive. Okay, well, they're mainline. So there you go. I think we had them in the store. Yes. We do that on purpose in case <laughs> we saw something but didn't know we could say something. That's right. We wanted to make sure. Um, how do we decide which figures are going to be convention exclusives? So that's a very good question. Um, a lot of planning goes into place. We're already planning New York Comic Con next year. Um, so it depends on time of year, convention, what type of activations are going on there, retailer requests, um, licensor requests. So there's a lot of different things that kind of dictate that. Um, our planning team does a great job of deciding that. So I would say this was probably New York Comic Con 2019 was one of the stronger lines that we've had in a while. Yeah, I think so, uh, Funko's planning, we're getting out further and further yes. in advance of, of figuring out what we'll take to cons. Mm -hmm. So there's a better opportunity to, to bring even uh, more quality items. Yeah, and we want to hear from you guys, so definitely Tweet at us, at us, um, let us know what you think of the figures and, you know, what you would like to see, so. Let's see, Noe Verdusco said, will Funko ever give away one of those giant pops like the kind that are in front of HQ? I want one for my front yard. <laughs> Noe, anything's possible. Uh, it's, it's been discussed. Possible. Yep. Yeah, we've talked about we've it. We've come close. So. Um, It'll happen one day, I bet. Yes. What fantastic plastic character would you be? Hmm. We took the quiz a while ago. We did a quiz on our blog. I think I was Frank Von Wiener <laughs> for the sports element. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> but, oh, that's a good question. I don't yeah. know. I'd like to be bad boy, but I don't know there if I'm go. cool enough. There you go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna own it now. Yeah, he is bad boy. All right. Do we have any more questions? I saw. Did Let's I see, see something? I did not see some. Reminder to enter the keyword BAT, B-A-T, for a chance to win Bat Boy. And Social Media Freddy. We'll pick that winner before next week. And don't forget to enter for a chance to win that trip to Funko Hollywood. Details on the blog. Don't forget a chance to uh, enter for a chance to win the Gold Batman. Details on our blog. Yep. Um, how does somebody end up working for Funko? Well, head to Funko.com slash careers. You can see our opening uh, job recs there. See if you meet the qualifications. Apply. And uh, HR will be in contact if you do. I threw this one on the floor, but somebody asked, how big is the Batman box? That's how big. I'm I could probably fit in it. I'm if a I really six footer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's huge. I could crawl in there. It's an 18 inch pop, and you fit in there, you know, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have to assemble them, so that helps. Yes. But look at him. He's beautiful. He's glorious. Yes. All right, uh, we are almost up on time. I'm going to look and see if we got one more question. Uh, just a reminder to go check out the Funko Funcast, episode 123, recorded live at New York Comic Con, is up. There are Don't some give prizes. give it a listen. We're going to give away a uh, New York Comic Con exclusive to somebody or some Do you people. know what exclusive? It's going to be a surprise. Oh, okay. I think it's going to be pretty good, though. All right. Hmm. hmm let's looking see. for one more. Can I have the Star Wars one? Greg, <laughs> if you win one of our giveaways on Twitter, absolutely. <laughs> How do we get into the Hollywood shop before the grand opening? All right, Kylie, you I'll don't. tell you something. 
if you I'm get just gonna in say you don't. before <laughs> it's open, then it's trespassing is what that is. So don't do that. And honestly, I, I've overheard people saying, I think I heard that there's something on the 7th that is not for the public. So don't go and hang out for no. a chance to get in. Yes. November 18th is the opening date. Don't, don't make plans to be there already. We're giving you more details on that. If you want to get your airfare and hotel to be prepared for that day, you certainly can. Follow the Facebook. But as far as getting in, there are more details to come. We want to yes. uh, make it available to most, That's right. if not all. And, so and the great thing is the store is open then, so you can come the 19th, the 20th, absolutely. the 21st. You don't have to trespass. Next March. Anytime. I saw somebody ask about <laughs> Supernatural Pops. Oh. Check that Funko app out. There are a lot of Supernatural Pops already. Could we use more? I wouldn't be mad at all. But there's mystery minis, there's pops, Little there's biased. dorbs, there's, uh, there's so many items. Uh, pop rides, some amazing pop rides. Are there going to be Hollywood HQ, well it's not HQ, but Hollywood exclusives? That's a yes. Can't there's, tell you what, but there will definitely be exclusives for Hollywood. I see that question, <laughs> and I see he almost highlighted it. I'm not answering that one. <laughs> How much can you bench? There's Funko HQ, and then there's Funko Hollywood. Yep, there you go. How much can I bench? Uh, about that much. Whoa. Yeah. Swole. I, I don't match that. Jacked. I, I don't really know what the match is. It's hard is. with a bench because you need a spotter. Yeah. And, uh, I don't really have that. Yep, that's true. All right, I think that's it for the week. So thank you guys for tuning into the live. We'll be back next week, hopefully around 2 p.m. on Wednesday. That could fluctuate. Things happen, meetings, whatever. Uh, but until next time, this is Sully, Nerds Unite. Thanks, guys.